Hey, Mike the Marketing Medic here, and it's Christmas time, so I thought I would record this video in front of my Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <laughs> All right, the focus of today's topic is the three secrets that dispel the myth that three secrets even exist. All right. Let me explain what I'm talking about. We've all seen the, the funnels and the landing pages and the webinars that have these three secrets, right? If you just knew these three secrets, then all of your problems would be washed away. All of your solutions would be handed to you. You'd be on easy street with the keys to the kingdom firmly in your grasp, right? That is what the three secrets promise to deliver. But I think deep down, I think deep down we all know that in order to succeed in business, in order to succeed with an online business, that in order to succeed in sports and health and fitness and relationships, you need to do some work, right? There aren't just three secrets that are gonna turn the key for you and magically open the doors, okay? And I think we know that, but isn't it great to just believe and have that hope that just like, if we just knew those three things and everything would be solved? Well, let me show you my three secrets, okay? And, uh, and, they're, and they're not secrets, but I think they might enlighten some things for you. All right, so I'm the marketing medic. My primary uh, impetus is on strategy, having a solid marketing strategy. So what does that mean? That means that you have a big idea. You have something that sets you apart from the competition, right? You have something that's bigger than life, that really gets some curiosity going, that captures the mind and seduces the heart, right? It's intellectually compelling, it's emotionally intriguing. This is your big idea, right? And within that big idea, you have a unique mechanism. You have something that the competition can't offer. You have something that can't be Google searched, right? You have something that is unique to you that when applied will solve your uh, avatar's problem. That's another part of the marketing is understanding who your avatar is. You have to know who they are so you know what they want to hear, so you know what you have to say, right? So you need a big idea. You need to know your avatar. You need a unique mechanism. Most importantly, you need an offer. You need an offer that is just too, almost too good to be true. Something that they would feel complete, like complete fools for turning down, all right? So you need a solid offer. But you know what happens? If something is too good, looks to be too good to be true, then sometimes it is, right? So that might scare people. So you need a platform. You need to meet those false beliefs and you need to address them up front so people will understand why this offer is as good as it is and why you can offer it. All right, so that's the marketing. And I've talked about diff those different components in other videos. And so that's, again, that's what I've been focusing on for so long is the marketing. But in recent months, I've become aware that regardless of how strong your marketing is, especially if you're doing it within a funnel, then there's a lot of online skepticism and it's growing every day, right? Because there's so many bad funnels out there. Like I saw a funnel the other day that the marketing message was basically buy my stuff because I'm selling it. That, that was the extent of the marketing message. Buy it because I'm selling it. They didn't put in any more work in than that. So one, that goes strongly against my marketing strategy. And uh, two, because there's so many funnels and offers like that out there, there's just a lot of skepticism now in the world, in the online world especially. And so you need credibility. You need to have that online credibility. And that's where I created the, uh, the uh, Credibility Accelerator Vortex, right? You need to put the work in online so that you can gain that credibility so that when you're making that offer, people won't think that you're a fly-by-night scam artist and that you're somebody with staying power and that you're somebody that they can trust. So um, you need a strong marketing message and then you also need to have that credibility. If you have those two things, then you should be off to the races, right? But no, because I promised you three secrets and this third secret is actually probably the biggest one. And I know this because I coach a bunch of people and I am coached, so I'm in, I'm in, I'm in uh, mastermind groups. And you know, it's funny because within my students and with the, within the people who I mastermind with, there are some smart people in those groups. Like they know their stuff by look and they're really not having the success of some of the other people I see out there who really don't seem to really know all that much 
Uh, but they're just crushing it. And so what's the difference between the people who know stuff and aren't succeeding and the people that don't know stuff and are succeeding? Well, the difference is the gap between knowing and doing, right? So many of us focus so much on knowing. We learn and we learn and we learn and we learn. And then we go and we learn some more, right? And we don't do. There's a gap between knowing and doing. And those guys that don't really know very much but are succeeding like crazy, it's because they are doing. It's not because they're knowing, it's because they're doing. And you know what? I hate to say this, but it's true. You could know how to put together the strongest funnel in the world with the best big idea, with the most amazing unique mechanism, an offer that just cannot be refused. And you know what? That will be crushed by somebody who doesn't have half the marketing chops that you do. And why or how could it be crushed? It could be crushed because that person who doesn't have half the marketing chops that you do will actually go out and launch his funnel. It might be a crappy funnel, but you know what? A crappy funnel um, converts so much better than the funnel that has never launched. All right, so there's, there's three components to online success. I'm not gonna call them secrets. There's three components to online success. One, you need to have marketing strategy. You need to have the chops when it comes to marketing. Two, you need credibility. Why should people trust you? The more people know, like, and trust you, the more sales you'll have. But this is the part I hate, I hate to admit. The most important thing is not marketing or credibility. It's bridging that gap between knowing and doing. It's your mindset, okay? Just get out there and start applying what you already know. Put that to the test and then see how it, how it performs. See how it converts and then once you have that information, then you can understand where you should look to know something more, to make improvements, to optimize, to get your results to come even, even better. All right, so there you have it. Those are my three, three secrets. Again, they're not three secrets. There are three components for online success. You need marketing strategy, you need credibility, and you need mindset. So um, which should you work on? You should work on them all. Sign a little bit of time each day working on learning marketing, on building your credibility, and within yourself creating the right mindset so that you'll bridge that gap between knowing and doing. And if you start doing those three things consistently every day, and again, that comes back to mindset, I guarantee without a doubt that you're gonna see your success just rise and rise and rise exponentially. All right, so that's today's lessons. I'm Mike, the Marketing Medic. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. And if you did, make sure you click on the, the, the link somewhere to subscribe to this channel. And uh, there's a link in the, the description that you can uh, get some more cool stuff from me. All right, guys, that's it for today. And uh, we'll see you in the next, in the next video. All right, bye-bye.